Hey everybody, this is Jerichos, and welcome back to Odin Sphere Leaf Thrasir. We have been playing as Oswald the Black Sword, and I'm kind of digging his story. I'm very intrigued to see exactly how a lot of this stuff plays out from his side of things. A lot of this we've already seen, but it's a fascinating new perspective. That being said, let's go ahead and launch into Chapter 3 as we deal with the fallout of Queen Elfaria passing away. I must report immediately. What has happened? The Paladin have been attacked. There is an armed revolt. You don't need to report that. Melvin is already handling matters. What is wrong, Belder River Handler? Your face is blue. Tis nothing. What's wrong? I feel dizzy. Hey, Mercedes. So you must be Melvin's Shadow Knight. Mercedes. If I kill this guru, Melvin's plan will be complete. No, I had better wait for Melvin's command. Pardon me. I'm not feeling well. Hmm. That was what was going through his head in that little interaction from her side. Knowing that the Demon Lord is on his way here makes me nervous. Do you think that girl can fulfill her duties as queen in these times of strife? Her cousin Melvin is quite dependable. He ought to take her place. Oh boy. It's suddenly very complicated here. I wonder if it's safe to be here. Eh, it's not. I can tell you right now, it is definitely not safe to be here. Um, let's see. Oh, grab an egg or two. Uh, should actually make some chickens at some point. That'd probably be really good uh, experience at this stage. Uh, let's drop off some things. And let's go ahead and put the eggs in the box. We'll get them out later if we need them. And do you sell anything I cool or new? I can actually buy chicken directly from you. Eh. Nah, I don't need to buy any of this stuff. I'll grow it all in time. What I do want to do, however, is spend some coins and eat Welcome. some good food. What can I well, these coins. Uh, let's see. I think let's just go ahead and do this. With pleasure. I'm guessing we'll hit level 15 with this. Oh, tasty. Will this be uh oh, so close to level 15. Well, we can't afford anything else, so that'll have to do for now. Uh let's Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Let me get one of the eggs out. And, well, I'll talk to you first. You again. I told you to stay away. Do you fight for the late queen? Of course. That is a knight's sworn duty. Then, beware the darkness. Ooh, ominous. Oh. Um, I think, let's, let's drop an egg on the ground. And then three seeds to love, uh, change it into a chicken, and then three seeds to. Oh, wait, no, it's the egg we use, I think. Yeah, use to hatch the chick. Yeah. Three seeds to make it into a chicken, and then three seeds more to have it lay another egg to replace the one we just used. Oh, he's, he's so cute. Little chicky. Oh, so tasty looking chicken. And meat. <laughs> How much does that even give? I can't remember. Ooh, 170. Well, well, we'll hold off. Maybe I want to use it for cooking if we encounter Mori. So, what's going down now? Send that letter to the lords. A just cause will be needed to fight the rebels. Oswald, explain the situation. As you command, paladins who were in opposition have hidden themselves in secrecy. 
There is now nobody left who publicly opposes you. Good work. Those stubborn lords still cling to sentimental ideas of Elfaria's daughter ruling. But some have expressed approval in the thought of me in charge of affairs. I am in command of a good third of our troops. But I am running out of time. Lord Melvin! You have acted recklessly! Tell them we will face their so-called revolution. We will break their resolve. If we can stifle the girl and her forces in the castle, the masses will follow us. Respectfully, a sorcerer and a dragon have been sworn to protect the queen. Beldor, huh? I wonder what his motive is. He is a tricky one. Fear not. I shall present a champion that can defeat any dragon. Lord Melvin, does such a warrior even exist in this world of ours? Mock me not, coward. My man is right here. Now go, Oswald. Oh, boy. It's getting worse. Ever since I saw the Halya, my body is stiff. But I must do what Melvin asks of me. I can still do this. Mm-hmm. Sure. Oh, poor Oswald. Convince the Dragon Tamer Beldor to join the Rebellion. Yeah, it, Melvin is definitely toxic. He's doing Rebellion and talking like the others are the ones who are, you know, rebelling. And, oh yeah, we got a new skill, didn't we? Let's see... Fatal Raid? Yeah, okay, let's do that as up. Oh my gosh, that, that was cool looking. It can be useful in certain situations. Probably not in you know, single small targets, but I'm definitely going to find some use of it. Did we still get an S rank? I think. Yes, just barely kicked in before the timer ran down. Hi guys! Not mean to use that up so soon. Oh, I just thought we reflected his dagger back at him and poisoned him. I love when random stuff like that happens. I think the battles are too chaotic to, you know, plan and have that happen exactly every time. But when it does, it's just a nice, you know, circumstance that, or a nice fortuitous uh, moment. You know what? Sure, why not? Dragon kick upward. Oh man, he is just crazy. Let's save this berserk. Something tells me we're almost done here. Yep. Ooh, ooh. Is that what I think it is? Is that what I think it is? It is a vampiric ring. Yes. Okay, what do I want? Um. Yeah, don't need the adversity ring. Not right now, anyway. Ooh, another egg. Um. Let's go. Bees? Why bees? Curse to me, a bunch of aerial enemies is a great opportunity to use that upward attack, like. If I'd aimed it a little better. Yeah, that works. Uh, this way is a dead end. Let's go explore it first. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Recipe? Recipe? <gasps> Nut cookie. Ingredients, rosemile and egg. Crispity, crunchity, munchity. <laughs> I'm guessing that's a takeout item, but that's just, that's adorable. 
now head down here for about ooh, ooh, ooh. I saw money let's head down here for a battle and see what do we got you know what oh that's crazy all right This is... Okay, that, that's fine. It's not as useful as I want it to be. Maybe that crazy, like, downward dash would be really useful there. Alright, fine. Just... Destroy them. There we go. All the bees gone? Yes. Egg and hot cross bun. Yeah, that just sounds yummy. Um, where we haven't gotten to a rest area yet. Oh man, just once the enemies are already dead and then it just keeps attacking, it just looks painful. I mean, for them, not for me. Uh, do we have? Oh, I said we don't have a full berserk gauge, but I bet you. Oh, oh, stabbing a teddy bear. Oh, that's that's so dark. Is that enough, or is there more coming? Yep, there's more. Come here. All right, that should be all of them now. Ooh, ooh, new ability. Something good, I hope. Something good? Gushing Bane, ooh, what a name. Walls of Black Flames billow for a time. Hmm, we'll try that out. That was... that's a weird one. I mean, the names of these, though, I'm just cracking up. Uh, area completion reward. Manticore's defeated. Hmm. There may not be a hidden one here. Okay. I'm okay with that. More seeds. Uh, oh, rest area, finally. Let's go this way. Give me Mari? No Mari. Get some grapes going. Occurs to me I probably could have done just one and been fine, but you know what? I want lots of grapes. Lots of experience here. Oh, oh, there is a Mori. Hey, Mori, how you doing, bud? Don't worry, I'm not gonna eat you. I want you to cook me food. Hello there, black-clad governor. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. Oh, he's scared. Surely you cannot rest with a tense look like that. Would you like to try a meal that will put a smile on your face? Oh, huh? Mori, you're so adorable. Allow me to add it to the menu. Now then, what? All right, well, let's first look and see. Okay, nut cookie is indeed takeout. So, I took some time between characters and double-checked what recipes I had not made yet. Uh, Mandra salad. Oh, I can actually make that now. Uh, let's make one of those. We got plenty of everything here. So, very well. let's see what this one is. Another salad. Not, Enjoy your meal. not super surprising. Oh, gotta eat your greens, Oswald, so you'll grow up big and shadowy. <laughs> That's a nice chunk of experience, too. Will that be all? Uh, and I also have not eaten smothered chicken. I wonder if I can buy cheese from the vendor here. I'll take a look. Uh, and I don't think I've made 
crepes, but I don't have milk, so... Thank you very Let's see if I can get cheese and or milk, and... Spare my life! Oh, I thought you were a bandit. You have such an evil glare. Well, that's mean. A little bit judgy. Ooh, spicy chicken. Uh, no milk or eggs. Or, not eggs. No milk or, ah, uh, cheese. But we'll remember that, that we need to cook those at some point. And spicy chicken. Habaneristo and chicken. Well, I have eggs. I can make chicken. Uh, oh, I have one egg already. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, I do have chicken already. I thought I had only... I thought I used one already. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Anyway, let's sell some of this stuff we don't really need. Because, honestly, I just I don't need all these materials. Hey, Turney, you come with me. Alright, back to Mari. Let's go ahead and make that spicy chicken. Mori's there I see you have a new recipe. Now then. That's a decent chunk. Yeah, let, let's do it. Very well. Alright. Oh, I had the chicken. I didn't actually cook the smothered chicken. That's what I was thinking of. So, I'll just have to get some more chicken meat whenever we are ready to do that. Hey, level 16. Is there anything else you want to order? Um, Mander salad is a decent chunk. Eh. How many eggs do I have? Yeah, what the heck? Let's... Let's do this. As you wish. And I'll buy one more egg so I can guarantee to make uh, a chicken when I need it. Will that be all? But let's go ahead and get the full bonus out of this. As you... Yay! That We're level 17. Nice. Okay, yeah, that's all for now. Thank you. How many ability points I got? Oh, I can definitely get this one. Again, I'm not sure how useful it's going to be, but something tells me it's better to have it than not. Uh, less likely to get status effects. That's actually sorely tempting, but I'll hold off. Are we going to get an egg for one of these? Nope. So, at least not guaranteed. So, buy an egg. And let's do a quick little bit of item box management. Uh, this and this can go in. This. <laughs> I have a ton of stuff in here because I just ate a whole bunch of stuff with Mori. Alright, I think that's good. Might as well eat these and then maybe I'll use the grape stems in battle. I don't know. I always forget about them. Well, hey, level 18. Nice. All right, which way do we want to go? Only one way we can go. Hello. You are not going to be much of a challenge here. I'm just, I actually am spamming this with this enemy just staying in place. Yes. Oh man, look how much damage we did before he could even get an attack off. Uh-uh. That was actually a really good dodge there. Uh, why not blaze? And... Are you... Wow, he didn't get a hit on us. 
That was kind of one-sided. <laughs> Not complaining, but just laughing at it. All right, uh, what do we got ahead of us? A decent chunk. Hi, goblins. And, ah, left is where we want to go. Pomegranate. Interesting that pomegranate is one of the few things you can't grow. It just appears in a few, like on a few trees randomly throughout the worlds. Hmm. Yep, yeah, let's do it. Mid boss. Ooh. Manta core. Nope. Ah. I would love if I had a back attack that just caused poison. Boy, that would be nice. Hey, red cap. Get out of here. I'm aware I could have focused on the mana core, but I really wanted to get that red cap just gone. Ooh. You gonna stand in one place so I can use Blaze? Haha. <laughs> Yes. Cause a bunch of damage, come on. Oh, it missed because he was jumping around. That's fine. Ooh, big critical hit. I realized I love finishing up with this because it just extends the attack all the way beyond. Even if it runs out midway through, you know it's still going to get its full uh, shadow version. Oh, I did not mean to cut that one short. Alright, last health bar. Oh, do I got another spell I can use on you? Yeah, I'll use a level 1 cyclone. I'm not going to waste a toxin on you. That's actually pretty useful for getting behind the enemy. You know what? One more stab. Got him. And nice pouch at. Wait, wait a second. Didn't I see Manticore's defeated? Okay. Oh, it's just a trial we haven't gotten to yet. I was like, I just fought Manticore, but it's not Manticore's. Um. Yeah, let's go one more room and explore down here. Because there's goblins! I wanna drain you. There we go. Silly goblins. I, I don't know where I was going with that. I thought I was gonna do a tricks is for kids thing, but I'm like, you know what? Silly goblins, life is for humans? It sounds really bad. So we're not going there. Uh, I think... Let's do one more battle. Yeah, let's clear this room out. Oh, hey, froggies! Froggy! Let's make sure we don't accidentally kill anyway. <laughs> no, something tells me he isn't over here at this point. Or maybe he's with Mercedes at this point. Oh, I haven't done that move before. He throws the dagger forward and then, like, launches himself after it. Neat. Hey, I'm starting to get in the hang of his fighting style. It's a little choppier, not as fluid as Gwendolyn or Cornelius's. And why not pick up all the stuff that dropped here? I think that's going to do it for here. We've got a few more places to explore. Oop. And Mandragoras to get. Next time, I'm going to start by journeying over here, get some items, and then journey deep into the forest to hopefully find Beldor and get him to join the rebellion? Maybe. I mean, 
I think that's gonna work because he does turn against Mercedes. So I guess we'll find out next time. If you've enjoyed this episode, make sure to click like and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time.